Hello everyone and a real thank you to all my viewers to encourage me every time. When I saw the number of queries and the number of uh, responses that I'm getting for the video on constipation, for the video on the uh, use of suppositories in constipation and many of them are asking me for uh, how to manage constipation or you know different ways of using the suppository in babies the different uh, positions let me tell you one thing i just made the suppository video because there were many parents who were scared of using suppository in uh, babies for fever or for constipation so just to remove that scare of i had used this suppository video Remember, suppository is not the only answer to your uh, constipation. The constipation it has a, it, you have to have a holistic approach to constipation. So it is not only that you just put a suppository and your constipation is gone. No, so only suppository will not help your constipation. You need to have other things like you know, first and foremost, understand what is constipation, uh, what are the causes of constipation, how you can handle it. So the handling itself has lot many other things. So constipation is not something that I can cover in one video. So, so I will be having an entire series dedicated only to constipation. So whatever I'll be saying in today's video, I will be dealing in detail and in depth in each and every coming video. So if I say uh, like, you know, use of water. So I'll be having a separate video wherein I will tell you how much water, when to give and all that stuff. Okay. And how to give. Uh, also, if I say fiber rich diet, then what is this fiber rich diet? If I tell a parent, Baba, okay, give fiber rich diet to your baby. How will the child, I mean, how will the parent on the earth know that what is a fiber rich diet without me telling, right? So I'll be making the entire video on, um, about how to uh, give the fiber rich diet then how to train the baby what are the what are the uh, psychological things that are involved in constipation how the parent should be behaving how you should be understanding your baby all that stuff so today's is just a general video to give you an skeleton about my future plan that is for the constipation series i hope uh, uh, many of those people who have seen my last few videos on suppositories are watching this video and please feel free to give me a lot of comments on each topic that you wish uh, me to speak on so i also have a nice input wherein i can decide uh, okay so so and so person has this problem so i can give him more detailed information about it instead of only me telling the information uh, let this be a interactive video and not just me talking i mean i always like interactions okay now let's start do you know that constipation is almost 50 to 70 percent of our opd and that too a constipation which is just because of your lifestyle so we call it a functional constipation basically it has no other reason but the main big reason for this functional constipation as we call in our language is your lifestyle the present lifestyle that we are having did you hear our forefathers uh, talking about constipation much no early morning they were fresh and they were ready for the rest of the day but this constipation stuff has come nowadays in these era it has come up and that too recently maybe last 14 15 years is the time that we are seeing a rising numbers of uh, constipation with the rising number of food industry which is pouring uh, um, uh, diet which is uh, without fiber no nutrition only advertising gimmick pay the actors and actresses advertise it so much that the child who is not even born has an impact before he is born okay so uh, what i mean is it's like you know that abhimanyu who had the uh, influence before he was born similarly nowadays children are having influence of these uh, non-nutritional stuff that they take before they are born because their parents the mother or the father is also having this stuff so we have to look into all these things now let's know what is constipation constipation is basically delayed or uh, uh, difficult passage of stools so that means either the child or even the adult is passing the stools delayed that means three or less than three number of times in a week understand in a week the child is passing motions three times or less than that that is the delayed passage or it is difficult passage now what is meant by difficult passage is basically 
passage of stools that is a child is not able to pass the stool or is able to pass the stool with lot of uh, effort or is able to pass the stool with lot of pain or with some blood streaking or it is so much that the stool has got just stuck and the child is absolutely not able to uh, pass the motions or is uh, obstructed with the motions okay so this could be the uh, entity called constipation now what are the different types of constipation that you should know of one is the functional constipation which is the most commonest 85 to 90 percent of constipations nowadays are functional constipation that is no reason mostly the lifestyle is the reason second is the organic constipation now what is organic constipation organic constipation is basically constipation because of some problem in the child they may be problem with the intestine they may be problem with the anus they may be problem with the rectal canal above the anus or they may be problem with the nervous system the neuromuscular problems as we call or they may be problem with the hormones like your hypothyroidism in the child or diabetes yes babies also have diabetes okay diabetes in the children um, then there are multiple you know pyloneal sinus and all if i tell you uh, the medical terms of these things you will get uh, of and you will go away from my video so i will not go much into details but remember functional and organic organic is where something has to be done like you know treatment by medications or uh, specific medications i mean or uh, uh, operation has to be done okay all these things but uh, functional is somewhere wherein you just require parents full concentration into treatment or the parents to give in the full support in treating this child keep a lot of patience level because these treatments are long uh, you need to give six months sometimes one year because it is a training of the child okay details of this i'll be coming up with my further series so stay tuned okay uh, so these are the causes Let's not go more details of causes. I think this much are enough for you. If you want to know, you can let me know that, you know, I want to know more causes of this uh, constipation. I will make a separate video only dealing with the causes of constipation. Second is what are the red signals? Now, you should know what are the red signals wherein you know that, okay, this may not be functional, but this has got something else. There is something else sitting down there, okay? So, those red flag signs are... Uh, distended abdomen that is the abdomen of the baby is distended as I'm showing here okay it becomes bloated as if it's a balloon okay sometimes you can see those peristaltic movements that is the movement of the intestine inside the uh, tummy you can see that intestine moving under the baby's uh, tummy skin okay so that is number two number three baby vomiting continuously especially bilious now what is meant by bilious vomiting is a yellowish or uh, greenish uh, vomitus which is not normal usually when the child vomits they vomit either colorless fluid or uh, whatever they have eaten that material or it is something like uh, off-white color but when it is uh, yellowish bright yellow or some green which is the green color behind me or some darker green than this then it is um, uh, ominous there is some problem underneath okay so it is basically a pipe which is blocked and it is trying to throw out whatever is there in the upper portion of the pipe so depending upon where the obstruction is there you will have the different colors of uh, vomiting i will deal with this in another video okay one more topic others is the uh, child who is having features of hypothyroidism the child who is very dull they're not active not growing properly not you know he looks just uh, obese or he just looks like swollen or he holds voice there are many features of hypothyroidism another topic for a different video okay so child with uh, features of hypothyroidism a child with a scar especially somewhere on the abdominal area because that might be the cause of the constipation a child with uh, any lesions around the anus especially any cut marks any sinuses or any problem around the anus a, ch a child with a dimple behind the anus or a tuft of hair on the spinal cord or some uh, birthmarks on the spinal cord a child with a anteriorly placed anus that is anus has to have a specific uh, site it is placed at a specific site it has to be there if it is uh, naturally by birth if it is uh, more 
ahead then or more in, in anterior than what it should be it is called a anteriorly placed anus uh, which can cause a problem because of the angulation that it takes part then a patulous anus uh, that is what is patulous anus? anus is usually like you know closed portly like okay so it is like closed portly but the anus which is loose is a patulous uh, anus so this can give rise to some problems internally there may be different problems which can cause constipation any lesions of the spinal cord so imagine a uh, trauma to the spinal cord or a child with weakness in the lower limbs a child who is not able to walk not able to stand properly at appropriate ages of course okay this might be the cases of having some organic cause some serious thing underneath so we'll have to keep a watch on that so these are the red signals let's come to what do we do when a patient comes to us with constipation so first and foremost we see is it a functional that is this patient will improve over time or it is something organic that is he has got something and we need to refer him further to a specialist that is a uh, that is a pediatric surgeon okay other thing is we differentiate is it something which is acute that is it has just happened in the last two weeks or is it something which is chronic that it has been happening since last two months that is eight weeks and the child is still having constipation is a uh, chronic constipation there is a different way of dealing with the chronic constipation so today's lecture i will just deal with these two things so let's go step wise that's what i was saying let's go step wise so that we understand each and everything about constipation the next lecture i'll be taking upon functional constipation the way we try to treat how we are supposed to treat in short and then i'll be going in details of each point of that so i hope you like this video if you like please give it a thumbs up follow me on this channel also on my instagram and uh, if you have any queries write hashtag dr punam's vlog and uh, write it under the, under the comment section as and when i get time i will definitely make a video you can see i am with this today uh, because i was really not getting time to shoot so i thought today as i got some time in the, uh, the clinic itself i have shot this video uh, with all my clinic uh, attire itself so i may be looking a bit funny uh, but i can't help it Okay, so if you have some queries, please write in the comment section. I will definitely make a video, but give me that time because you know, time is something which is very difficult for me to find. I usually try to make many videos on a Sunday on the commonest topic and then as and when I get time, I just go on editing them and shooting the videos either on YouTube or Instagram. So that's why follow me on both the places, okay? Uh, I have also, for those people who are interested in knowing a, a cesarean section details, I have recently shot a full video only on the cesarean section. If you all are interested, I will even post that video because I have taken permission from the parents to post this video. Uh, if you all are okay with it, um, please do comment that we want to see the video on uh, cesarean section. I will definitely send you that uh, video also. Thank you.